we're in the mountains um our place is in the mountains and then even the yard is in the mountains if that makes sense and i'm here and there about two more pens to go ah y'all we're here the second airbnb oh okay let me stop see i'm paying attention to coming apart Good morning everyone Whew, another morning it is 3 40 in the morning and we're waking up early because i made a mistake with our flights and <laughs> so this is the time that we have to go to the airport for our flight for 6 30 to go to our new city which is medellin so all packed up and I like it's packing right now. I'm gonna go to the airport and then start a new adventure. Isn't that fun? It is. Why am I so sweaty at 3 40 in the morning? I don't know because I'm excited to go and I'm excited to show y'all. Okay, I'm going now. Bye. Welcome back to the Global Gear Colombian Adventures. If you didn't know, I'm a Caribbean travel vlogger who moves to a new country in the world every year. Because why not? Today, Aleka and I are officially moving to the city of Medellin in Colombia. We spent our first couple of days in the capital city of Bogota, be sure to check out those videos on the channel, and explored. But now we're taking a local flight to set up shop in Medellin. So join us on this trip and all the experiences that we had settling in. The good and the not so good. One at the airport very early. I think we have an hour to go still before our flight. We came early, like if we were flying international, buddy. But it was so easy. You do everything check in yourself, drop off the bags yourself. Um, airport's definitely getting a little bit more busy now. You need 30 minutes of free Wi Fi in case anybody's interested in the airport in Bogota. Yeah, let me show y'all. <laughs> um, this is the domestic section as well. Yeah, so we'll get in. We leave here at 6.30. We'll get in at 7.30. Then we have a connection um, to our Airbnb, I guess. We'll just say the Airbnb for two weeks until uh, new place is available. And so she's gonna pick us up, take us to it's her mom's house. And I guess we're gonna have to go grocery shopping and stuff. I don't know. I may wanna sleep. I'm gonna finish my book. Thanks, Aleka. And then, yeah, when we're getting on the plane, we'll see. All the place is cold. Oh, I can't wait to go where it's warm. The flight between Bogota and Medellin is about one hour, which is barely enough time to nap. The flights costed about 68 US dollars each, and we only bought them a few days before the flight. We flew on one of their local airlines, which was really good. We didn't understand a word they said, but we managed to make it true. Not. It was supposed to be hot. Bogota was cold. I was prepared for that. 
here it's cold too i was not prepared for that we're waiting on our ride but we're here now the shared apartment we were renting in medellin wouldn't be ready for another two weeks so we decided to stay at our future colombian roommate's mother's house in the mountains outside the city she rents the rooms on airbnb so we figured why not our roommate was kind enough to pick us up from the airport but y'all we truly didn't realize what we were getting ourselves into man you gotta keep watching to find out y'all turns out this house was way way up this steep steep hill which meant that if we wanted to go anywhere this was what we'd have to take on a daily walking up and down slowly but surely we realized this might be a bit too far out no jumping no <laughs> now i forgot to record the inside of the house when we first arrived but after settling in and greeting these huge dogs which they told us about before our host walked with us to get some groceries at the local gas station store, the closest place that had a variety of things to buy. Okay everyone, we just completed our first shop and yay. it was nice, yay! At a gas station. Yes, at a gas station. We're in the mountains, um, our place is in the mountains and then even the yard is in the mountains, if that makes sense. I will show y'all we're walking back um we got connected to this person and her mother has an airbnb and so we're sitting in the airbnb however i don't know if i'm gonna be able to stay there very long because my allergies are acting up in the space so we just bought enough groceries to last us for three days i think mm -hmm. two days three days it's also very cold and um me can't do where we're cold for plenty long so we might find a place in the city where it's warmer um however we just did grocery shopping and our total came up to about how much us? 26 us 26 27 us so split between two of us that was 13 14 dollars and that is for like i said three days worth of groceries they bought like pasta pasta for wraps egg bread like a snack and call it a day so let me show y'all where we're walking and how we're walking literally up this mountain people they be riding bikes they can't, i kind of think up and down this this is a hill this is not antigua this is dominica and jamaica kind of mountain check it check it check it and he was just doing that leisurely man but other people like in their cycling gear and thing anyways i won't lie i was a bit overwhelmed when I saw where we were and where we have to walk up, I'm going to show y'all just the whole thing. And then it was cold and stuff, but the sun is out. So that's making me feel a little better. But we signed ourselves up for an adventure for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Now, our Airbnb was actually on the outskirts of the nearest town, which was even higher up in the mountains. That meant, besides one or two little shops and some houses, it was just you and the bush and cold. While we didn't mind the peace and quiet, it wasn't as accessible as we thought. So the walk to the grocery store, which was at a gas station, was about... 15 minutes? 12 minutes? 12 minute walk? Oh, watch out for the, for the poop. Um, but again, it's up a hill. And then on top of that, where we live, it's like up, up here. And so the gate is here and then you have to like walk high. And all I know is that it's just a workout. We're getting here in Colombia, pure workout, man. But yes, we have about 10 more minutes to walk and then to walk to the gate and then about a 10 minute walk up uphill
Okay, y'all, so you see that gate? That is where we have to go and we have to go up, 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 up. Okay, folks, this is the start. And we gotta go up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and up. Okay, it might not be so bad, but. There's people talking, eh? Oh no. Okay, everybody, so that's the gate. So we're going here, and up here, and up here, and there are about two more bends to go. This is terrible. I feel so unfit. However, I feel better because we're in the mountains at a higher altitude. Ooh. No, 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 it's bogus. No, we are. We're oh, really? 8,000 feet? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Say so that huffing and puffing. At least I am. Whoosh. Yes. Oh. Y'all with me? Y'all should get, get on a thing and start walking. And somehow find it. Find the way to add 8,000 feet to it. <laughs> I tell you, we sound really bad. We really do. Oh, look here. Yes. <laughs> but it's it's so nice. Okay, I actually need the rest. It's terrible. Breathe. And you can hear a stream nearby. Adventurous bad. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Let me tell y'all, the hike up that hill with groceries was another level. Imagine doing this every couple of days. And this was just to get to the property itself. Nah man, we had to do some reevaluation. even the car was like she had to put it in the extra special gear yeah. to get it up yeah. huh. yes okay we're still going okay y'all we're around the third bend we have to go around that bend there when you're this high up it just makes Walking like this way more difficult. That and we don't work out as much as it's supposed to. Whoosh! Ooh. Oh yes. Oh yes. So the fourth bend, I think, at least. And no, this is not the house. This is the neighbor's house. And those are her dogs. Come in for us. Hola. Hola. Uh, 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 no. Fuera. The neighbor's house. And then this is the house that we're staying at. Yeah, but the dogs are beautiful though. They're so huge. everyone this is an update from me i believe it's day eight and we've flown to a city actually and now we're in the mountains again colombian mountains again and yeah these mountains don't play i think we're like two thousand three thousand something meters above sea level or eight thousand something feet when you come from the caribbean you're zero feet and meters above sea level so anyways, one thing I quickly learned is that the place is cool. So we went to this Airbnb. There's rooms in a shared house. And we know the person that owns the house or like to a connection. Anyways, they were so nice to lend us jackets and stuff like that. Because the place is just cool. But between the temperature and my allergies, it's not working out. I hate that I sound like this too, but I can't help my nose. I constantly have to be popping 
um these algae peels for dust and stuff like that anyways so the city is much warmer because it's a lot flatter and close to the ground i mean no about heat but the heat is there so we're moving tomorrow so right now it's kind of just chilling out literally kind of place cool i lost space i'm doing some work for my part-time job and then i'm gonna take some time and try to figure out how i can create new content for y'all i want to do some more reels i want to do or just practice making reels i want to do videos figure out how i can be more efficient with my videos i wanted to take some time to do that so y'all might see a difference in my editing style but i'm just experimenting because i need to find a better way of producing more quantity of videos um for y'all so yes so we'll see how that goes but yeah i'm just in my bed outside it's like that i'm gonna tell y'all we in the mountains i'll see if i could do a tour of the house for y'all so if anybody wants to be a way away definitely come check out this place um my room is a lot smaller than Aleka's, so i can probably show y'all both those spaces even though we kind of have them dirty um and if you don't mind the cold then you're good and if you don't have allergies like me then you're good um it's a shared space like i said so we share it with one other person and the owner of the house who's really really nice she just speaks spanish but she speaks a little bit of english we speak a little bit of spanish and it works and it's and it's nice to have that too anyways done talking but day eight and we found a place to stay so tomorrow we're gonna catch the bus and go into the city and stay there until we move into our official apartment so much excitement but yeah y'all i'm under the sheets bundle up i got a bundle up ay, ay, ay. okay my god for you bye hey fuera 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 Even though we were leaving, we tried to make the best of the time that we still had there. Besides bundling up in bed all day, I hung out with the dogs a bit and enjoyed the mountain scenery and what it had to offer. Good morning everyone! How are you doing? Whew. Okay, so this is day two of us in St. Elena, yes, which is near to Medellin, it's in the mountains and I realized that I showed y'all when we first arrived and now I'm showing y'all when we're leaving. So we're leaving, we're supposed to stay out here for two weeks, however, Caribbean blood is too cold. It's like 30 degrees Celsius, 50 something degrees Fahrenheit and it just can't work with us. But I wanted to show y'all what our place looked like. Very, very, very affordable, very nice hosts, nothing fancy. Um, it's in our roommate, our future roommate's mom's house in the mountains and it was the best price which is a very very affordable. When I say very affordable I mean under ten dollars US a night. So this is my room. Um, packing up so I got the bunk beds um, here. Very small but has everything that she needed. Something's wrong with my camera so I'm trying to do this quickly. That's the, the dining room and I like her. Here's the living room. Blankets because it's cold. Here's the first bathroom that I shared. And um, the, another guest is here and that's upstairs. Then this was Aleka's room. Donde estas the light? Here we go. Yes, Aleka had a nice double bed. And then here had a working space. And then there's this here this annex and another bathroom it keeps locking off anyways so we're heading out now to Medellin which is not in the mountains we're so high elevated that's why the weather is like it is so we found another Airbnb oh let me show you outside and the two doggies hi doggies no no fuera 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 we, we were taught very early to tell them so shoot But we're leaving now, so um, come along for the journey if I'm able to record it. 
Uh, like I said, Humon is very, very nice, and it would have been nice to practice Spanish with them, but just too cold, man. See me layer up. I'm a layer up. I'm a hammer. Ma, ma, ting and ting. And he's gonna go catch the bus. So. Okay, bye bye, house. And we have our guard dogs. You know what they look like? The dog and them in um in Twilight, the wolf and them. <laughs> That's exactly what they look like. Okay. Our future roommate's mom was so nice and took our huge suitcases into the city with her early in the morning when she went to work. But we then had to figure it out from there, which meant public bus. Though there was really only one bus going into the city, we were pretty nervous because we barely knew the language. In the end, we figured it out though, and the drive down the mountain was very scenic. It really showed you how beautiful Colombia is and just how high up we were before. After the one and a half hour bus ride, we grabbed our bags from our future roommate's cafe that's in the city. Then we stuffed them and ourselves into an Uber and made our way to our new Airbnb that we would call our home for the next 11 days. On the third floor. Imagine us with these bags. Oh, perfect. Ah, y'all, we're here. The second Airbnb. Oh, okay, let me stop. See, I'm paying attention to coming in a fall. Okay, everyone, so we're in our second space. We literally hiked up these steps with our suitcases. Three flights, third floor. But here we go. Hey, everyone, this is our new space. Yeah. It is small, never mind the bags. Cute but quaint. Our bathroom, hello. Tiny shower, and it has a sink behind there. Two bedrooms, but uno bedroom. Um, pequeño, just enough for a person. <laughs> and the couch, and then the dining room area and then the second bedroom they definitely turned a one bedroom into a two bedroom but you know what it's cute love the blanket love the sheets this is great and yeah i like it i'm packing up everything thank you so much for packing up stuff oh okay and we got a whole tv yeah it's not so bad 11 nights we like it, it's much warmer here. Look, my don't open up the window. Bram, bram. This is our view, which is a wall, but that's okay. <laughs> and yeah, there's a little view over here. But yeah, y'all. yoo -hoo! I'm gonna a couple of these before you move. The new apartment was so much warmer, y'all. We were so happy and felt like we made the right decision. Luckily, our roommate and her mom were also super understanding with it all, so there was no confusion there. We took the rest of the time to settle in and get comfortable in this new space that we would be in for the next couple of days. Now, while this wasn't the original plan, not everything always goes the way you expect it. So flexibility and patience is key. Thank you all for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you all on my next Colombian adventure. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. Bye!